Hi, my name is Catherine Caraway. I'm in disguise today because I managed to escape a stalker. I do have every reason to believe that if he finds me today, he will kill me. He is angry that he has been caught. I first met him uh, when I was at a happy hour with a friend. I was introduced, so I trusted him right away. After three months of pursuing me, um, I finally relented and went on a date with him. It wasn't but another three months into the relationship, six months after meeting him, that his volatility really began to show. Just right before I was going to leave my house, he showed up and said, Hey, I was in the neighborhood, thought we could just ride together to the restaurant. I didn't see any harm in doing that. So I did. I got in a shock. We went to the restaurant. It was a grotesque display of humiliation. It is about the best way I can describe it. Finally, after dinner, I thought he was taking me home, so I did get back in his vehicle. Instead, he took me to his house, and that's when I saw the violent side of him. He was pulling me by the hair trying to get me into his house and something in my gut told me if I if I go into his house, I wouldn't I wouldn't survive. So I fought and I ran. I did call a girlfriend and we we talked about it and she encouraged me to report it to the police. So after working up the nerve to report it, the police took the report, it did nothing about it. All they told me was you shouldn't talk to him anymore. Well of course I already knew that. After that, um, there was a, a, the news broke that a local woman had been murdered. She'd been shot in the back of the, of the head. And he had stopped me and was talking about it. And he made a comment. He said, would you rather know that this coming? And I was very cavalier about it. I didn't give it another thought. I said, no, I guess I wouldn't. Um, but if things turned worse, I regretted that. Every day I waited for a death that I wouldn't see coming. Every morning I woke up not knowing if it was going to be my last. And every night I would sleep in my clothes right down to my running shoes. I never would get into pajamas because I always felt like I had to be ready to run. At this point, he was stalking me. He was showing up in my backyard. Every time I left my house, he, was, he would be there. At one point I was at the grocery store. When I left the grocery store, I popped the trunk of my car which unlocked the vehicle and he got into my car and I couldn't get him out. He just had this calm look about him and he looked at me and he, he said just very calmly, you were mine and I don't share. And that shook me to my core. I jumped in my car and was able to get away. At this point, all I could do was gather evidence. Hiring a private investigator would completely change the course of what happened. The private investigator was able, within a week, was able to get enough footage, video, and evidence to be able to file charges against him. I went to another state when I, I was not associated with in any way, and I rented a P.O. box. And I also rented a place to live. Instead of renting for an apartment like at a big apartment complex, I rented from an individual. Um, I was able to then change my name, and now I live under a, a new identity. I've now been in hiding in plain sight for over two years, and I love it. To be able to go to the grocery store and not worry about a man climbing into the passenger seat of my vehicle is quite liberating. June of 2023, I'm aware that he had reached out to a family member of mine and tried to ascertain my location. Fortunately, my family members aren't going to give me up. Um, not all of my family even knows where I live. He still continues to look for me. And when things started coming out at trial, I learned I was his sixth victim. And shortly before the trial, his seventh victim reached out to me. Um, so I know he continues to do it. He has not been rehabilitated. Because I'm the only person to ever win a conviction against him, the six women before me, they didn't follow through on the charges. They dropped the charges because they were scared of him. I was scared of him too. I didn't drop the charges. He needed to be a convicted stalker.